As I'm sure you're aware, there's been some very impressive driver launches in the last year or so in that premium category. Um, but given that they are a premium price point, they come with a lot of features and benefits that aren't necessarily affordable to the everyday golfer, which is why in this video, we're gonna be focusing on four of our favorite drivers in that lower price point category, so coming in under 280 pounds, that we feel you should be considering if you're looking to upgrade your driver and also save a few pounds in the process. The four models we've chosen are the Cleveland Launcher HB, the Lynx Black Cat, the Wilson Staff D300, and the Ben Ross HTX Compressor. Uh, we've got the Type R version with this driver, and in the Lynx driver, we've got the low weight setting in the front, so lower spin setting. Uh, they're all nine and a half degrees, or the closest setting we could get to the nine and a half degrees. Uh, the stock stiff shaft, and we tested them on our GC2 launch monitor with premium golf ball. So we're gonna go through some various different categories that you might think about when choosing a new driver, pick out our favorites, and hopefully give you some insight uh, into the one that might be best for you in 2017. So let's start with the looks. So let's start in the looks category. Obviously it has a big influence on aim and also the confidence that you get over the ball. And the two that I've picked out in this category are the Lynx Black Cat and the Cleveland Launcher HB. Uh, we'll start with the Lynx Black Cat. What I like about this driver is very simple, kind of no gimmicks or fussy graphics on the front, very simple matte finish. I think it comes in a couple of different color options. I've got the, the blue here, so a nice matte blue finish contrasting with the black face, uh, very easy to align, very simple shape. I uh, really love the look of this driver. And then the other one, obviously, the Cleveland has got a little bit more going on with this driver. You've got this uh, step in the crown, which improves the performance, but also the way they've given it a white line, a white edge to it actually helps with alignment a little bit as well. Obviously, it has a large profile as well down at address, which I like, it inspires a lot of confidence. So those are the two I've picked for me, the two standout drivers in this category. So the next category we're going to look at is the feel and sound of the drivers, plays a big part in the overall appeal of a club. And I've actually picked the same two drivers that, as I did for the looks category, don't worry, the others do get a look in further down the video. But in terms of feel and sound, these two stood out for me. The Cleveland Launcher has a quite a loud, high pitch sound and a very firm feel, but also a very powerful feel across a wide area on the face, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, the Lynx Black Cap has a very solid, feel to it, a very kind of springy feel to it from the middle. It does drop off a little bit in the heel and toe and also when you change the weighting around it actually does affect the feel of the driver. But from the squeak spot, you get it in that low weight setting, feels absolutely fantastic. So those are the two I've picked in this category. Okay, so moving on to distance, arguably the most important category when assessing a driver's performance or perhaps the ones that golfers would look at first. Uh, and the two that have come out on top for me are the Cleveland Launcher HB and the Ben Ross HTX top Compressor. Uh, this is the Type R version. It comes in two heads. This is the more expensive version, comes in 50 pound more because it has this adjustable sliding weight. But for the sake of the test, I just had it in the neutral setting there in the middle. Uh, this averaged an impressive 267 yards of carry distance for me. Um, nice and low spin as well, down at 2,100 approximately. So it could even get a little bit more spin by sh moving the weight into that front section. Obviously, you've got the option to do that and you can adjust the loft as well. But for me, uh, very impressive distance or all round numbers actually. And the Cleveland Launcher was the longest driver of the, the four models that we've got on this test. Average 270 yards of carry, which is really, really good for a driver that costs under 280 pounds. Uh, pretty consistent distances as well across the face. Um, a lot of the distance might come down to the shaft length, 45 and a half inches for this shaft. So that might contribute to some extra head speed uh, while losing out for, on control for some. For me, I actually found it quite easy to control, but for others, you might find that extra shaft length uh, limits the accuracy that you experience. But for me, in terms of distance, these two came out on top. Worth noting that the other two were only uh, two yards uh, and a further two yards behind the Ben Ross. So there wasn't much in it, but these two came out on top. Okay, so now we're talking about forgiveness, which is probably the category where a lot of these lower price point drivers fall down more than the premium drivers. I picked out the two that for me gave me what I felt was the most help on off centre hits in terms of preserving ball speed and accuracy. Uh, the Cleveland Launcher, again, here we go, it's, it's featured again, I think it's featured in all the categories, but 
For me, it did seem to give me the most consistent distances on strikes across the face. It's also very inviting to hit a nice and large down by the ball. Uh, seems like there's a lot of face areas to hit, which gives you more confidence. And the other one I've picked is the Wilson uh, D300. Uh, again, like it's got a large profile down behind the ball and also a nice back weight here. Uh, moving that weight low and back for me seems to give me a lot of stability on those off-centre hits and through the ball just generally seems to be a very user-friendly offering. So if you're looking for forgiveness from a driver, these are the two in this price category that I would pick. So in terms of value, for me, there really was a standout performer, and that is the Benross HGX Compressor Type R driver. It's actually the cheapest of the four drivers we featured in this video, coming in at £199.99. And even at that price point, you're getting a host of adjustability, so adjustable loft on the hosel, a nice sliding weight here, three different settings, draw, neutral, or fade, so you can adjust your shot shape to counter and miss or maximise distance or accuracy, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, I like that it's at an angle, so moving the weight into the toe will give you more favour. Also lower the spin slightly because of the angle. It's closer to the face, should reduce spin slightly. You've also got a pretty premium shaft off offering, the Kuru Kagi uh, Mitsubishi Rayon shaft. So uh, that's featured in uh, premium drivers down the years. So decent shaft offering, lots of adjustability. Looks pretty good as well too. Uh, coming in under £200 for me, the standout winner in the value category. Okay, so now I've got to decide which driver is the best for under £280. It's a difficult one because all four drivers offer something a little bit different. The Ben Ross gives you the adjustability at an affordable price point. The Wilson D300 gives you that light feel. It's a very lightweight shaft, lightweight clubhead, which should give you a little bit more clubhead speed. Didn't work for me, but that's not to say it's not going to work for you. We've got that Lynx driver the black cat which is a nice simple fuss free look and gives you excellent performance with some adjustability as well on the hosel and the sole and then finally the cleveland launcher it's not adjustable but it did give me the best overall performance certainly in terms of distance and forgiveness so it depends what you're after if you're after looking to increase your clubhead speed the wilson is probably the way to go if you want adjustability on a lower price point the ben ross and the links are probably going to be best for you and then finally if you want an out and out kind of simple offering that you don't have to worry about custom fitting or things like that but you know you're going to get performance the cleveland launcher is the one to go for for me if i had to pick a driver from these four it would be the cleveland launcher it does come in at the top end of the price point that we're talking about here today so 279 pounds that is a little bit more expensive than the ben ross and the Lynx. the wilson does come in at that same price point but for me the cleveland launcher was the standout model in terms of off the shelf performance a very simple offering Excellent distance, excellent forgiveness. So that would be the one I would choose out of these four. But hopefully you found that video useful. If you're looking for a new driver and also to save a few pounds, have a try with them all. Obviously, if you're thinking about getting a new driver, try and get custom fitted. At least pick the right loft for your game under the watchful eye of a PGA Pro. And hopefully you'll experience some good performance and save a few pounds in the process.